And our big story tonight. Who shoots a pastor? I mean, really, that's just crazy. That is the question police are determined to answer. A Hartford pastor shot multiple times on the steps of his very own church. This is happening at the First Church of the Nazarene on Capitol Ave in Hartford. Good evening, I'm Kevin Hogan. The seemingly random violence is taking many by surprise and more members of the church community are speaking out. Channel 3 Abbott's news reporter Matthew Campbell is live from the church where the pastor was just set to set a milestone. Matt. Well, Kevin, the timing here was so tragic. This pastor was actually supposed to celebrate his fifth anniversary here at this church with his congregation, but instead he spent it in the hospital recovering from this shooting. There were only a few American flags in the ground outside of the First Church of the Nazarene tonight. That's because Pastor Augustus Seeley was shot before he could finish his Memorial Day commemoration. It's like numb. The gunfire rang out at 6.30 this morning. Police say seven shots were fired, three striking the pastor, two bullets in the leg, and one in the shoulder. Visiting pastor and friend Eustace McDonald said some in the congregation heard about the violence but had no idea their pastor was the victim. She was texting the pastor to find out if everything is all right, if the visiting speaker is all right. And she got no information until she spoke to the secretary who informed her that it was Pastor Seeley. And she was shocked beyond imagination. The violence against a man of God makes the congregation sick. What's worse is that Seeley, who drives from his Central Mass home each week to preach, was set to celebrate his fifth anniversary here. Tennille McFarland Smart made the cake for this day. He's a very, very kind-hearted guy. Every time he sees my daughter, he always gives her hugs and kisses, and he's just a very, very nice pastor. Now the man who showered his congregation with love is the one who's being cared for. The father of two was taken to St. Francis, where police say he's in serious but stable condition. The anniversary celebration still continued with heavy hearts and mixed emotions. You have to now counsel the members and let them know how to pick themselves up after a storm. Other Hartford pastors are leading the charge, calling for peace after the shooting at the House of God that hit way too close to home. We will not be, be ran by terrorist acts like this. This is a terrorist act, a coward act. Now the hunt for a suspect is on. Eyewitness, uh, eyewitnesses have told police that they saw a black Nissan or Honda drive away from this scene. If you know anything, you're urged to call Hartford Police. That is the latest live here in Hartford. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.